Welcome to this instructional video on packing laboratory scale axe scrum columns with protein A resins. Proper column packing is crucial for achieving optimal purification performance in your downstream processing. In this video, we'll guide you through the step-by-step -step process of packing an axe scrum column with protein A resin, focusing on techniques that ensure uniform packing and maximize column efficiency. We'll cover everything from equipment preparation and resin handling to the actual packing process. Whether you're new to column packing or looking to refine your technique, this video will provide valuable insights to help you achieve consistent and high quality results. Let's begin with a list of terminologies and the equipment you'll need for this procedure. L settled is the gravity settled bed height. L consolidated is the consolidated bed height. L packed is the packed bed height. Some common abbreviations you'll see in here in the instructions are CF, which is the compression factor. This is the optimum level of compression required to reach the target bed height against the gravity settled bed. PF, which is the packing factor. This is the optimum level of compression required to reach the target bed height against the consolidated settled bed. The diagram on the right highlights the difference between these. The equipment required is an axiom column at a 7 to 20 cm ID. In this video, we'll be demonstrating with a 7 cm ID column. You'll need tubing kit, an actor system, and a media wand. Calculating the correct slurry concentration prior to column packing is a crucial step to allow for correct and easy column packing. There are several ways that this can be done, one of which is gravity settling. This is performed by allowing one litre of resin to settle on a measuring cylinder for 24 to 48 hours. A slurry concentration of 50 to 70% is recommended. Once the slurry concentration has been calculated, this is then used to calculate the required slurry volume. The column volume is multiplied by the compression factor and this is divided by the slurry concentration. For the 7cm ID axochrome column packed in this instructional video to a 20cm bed height using a compression factor of 1.2, the required volume of slurry with a 70% slurry concentration is 1,319 millilitres. The first step in preparing the column is to level the column. Prior to priming the column, ensure that the system is primed and no air is present in the lines. The bottom of the column can now be attached to the system and a low flow applied to add one to two centimetres of water to displace any air from the bottom frit. The calculated volume of resin can now be added to the column and if needed, top up the liquid level to the top of the column using the packing buffer. Perform a buffer exchange from the storage solution into the packing buffer by either washing the column with a low flow or decanting the liquid level after settling the resin. Once the resin is in the packing buffer, the resin needs to be mixed to a homogeneous slurry using the media wand. The resin needs to be allowed to settle up to 5 cm before the top adapter is added to the column. This avoids any resin being lost above the adapter. Whilst the resin is settling, Attach the top adapter and prime it using the actor pilot system to displace any air in the adapter and the frit. The top adapter should be attached to the column at a 45 degree angle to displace the liquid and avoid any air being introduced to the column during the packing. 
Use the bayonet tools to twist the adapter, securing it to the column. Connect the intelligent packing line to the column. The intelligent packing will give you instructions for the priming. This involves opening the vent valve and allowing the air to be displaced by the liquid before once again closing the vent valve. It can be easier to use an open syringe with water, as shown in the video, to see the bubbles stop, indicating the complete removal of air. As the adapter begins to lower, the bed will consolidate and form a bed. When the adapter hits the bed, you are required to press Confirm and Continue on the Computer Unicorn prompt for when the adapter reaches the bed. This step is important as it will ensure the correct packing factor is applied to the resin bed. This then tracks the compression of the bed as this prompt informs the software where a packing factor of 1.0 is and will compress the bed to the set packing factor. Once the packing factor is reached, the adapter will stop and the packing is complete. A conditioning flow of two column volumes is recommended to be performed and the column is now ready for column efficiency testing. The efficiency of the column is affected by the column packing. So how do you know if you have a well-packed column? First of all, you need to run a test which is normally water equilibration followed by loading a 0.05% column volume of a small tracer, either acetate or sodium chloride. This gives a peak that can be investigated to show your column's properties. One measurement looked at is the height equivalent of theoretical plates, HETP. To calculate the HETP, we need to look at the width of the peak at half height. This value is used to calculate the number of theoretical plates, or n. The higher the number, the greater the efficiency of the column. This is then converted into HETP by dividing the length of the column with the number of theoretical plates. The lower the HETP, the better the resolution and the more efficient the separation. Efficiency is optimised when N is maximised and the HETP is minimised. HETP will vary with the flow rate, so it is important to have an SOP with set values for testing the column. Not only the width of the peak, but also the shape of the peak can be a good indicator of packing quality. Peak symmetry can be checked by dividing the first half width at 10% peak height by the second half width. A value of 1 would be a perfect peak. In reality, a value of 0.8 to 1.6 should function well depending on your application. The asymmetry value is independent of flow rate. Here is an example of a column performance test result. Thank you for watching. You can find more resources, guides, interviews, and much more in our Bioprocessing Knowledge Hub, which can be accessed using this QR code.